Hello everyone. This video tutorial is intended for anyone who is responsible for booking laptop carts or computer labs. Um, this video will show you how you can create appointment slots to essentially create an environment of self-booking. All right, so no more email tag. Um, all that's a thing of the past. So the way this works is um, you basically generate a predefined appointment slot website. Um, and that's exactly what you're looking at right here. I've created all of these appointment slots um, at the beginning of the year. Um, and they've slowly been occupied by teachers self-booking them. So right now, when I hover over, hover over these blocks, the ones that are available are, are these right here, like this period one, period three, period three here, period four, period five, so on and so forth. These are all the remaining available blocks for the week of May 21st to May 27th. All of these other spaces are indicating to teachers that someone is already using that resource. And if they would like to also use that resource, they're going to have to find out from that teacher if there are enough laptops for them to share, for example. Um, but we let teachers communicate amongst themselves to arrange that. So the way you create something like this is you go into your Google Calendar and the first thing you're, wa you're going to want to do is create a calendar for each resource that you want to be able to book. So whether it be a lab or a laptop cart. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new calendar here called Laptop Cart X. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and click Create, and I should see it here in my list of calendars. Great. Now to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm going to display only this calendar, and I'm going to begin making my appointment slots. So being sure that I'm in the right time zone, I'm going to begin making my appointment slots for period one. So I'm going to go ahead and click between 8.30 and 9.30. In Laptop Cart X, I'm going to go ahead and click on Appointment Slots. Now, I have the option of having it automatically build in slots of 30 minutes for me, but since uh, the periods in our school anyway are they're not necessarily all the same length and there's like the five minutes between classes. I prefer to create them individually. So I'm going to go up here as offer as a single appointment slot. I'm going to call it period one. And now I'm going to edit the details to enable the repeat function because I don't want to do this for every day of the year. So if I go to edit details, I can click on repeat and I'm just going to go up here and select the Monday through Friday option. Now certainly uh, some holidays are going to fall um, onto this as well, but I prefer to schedule out the whole year and then delete the appointments for the winter break, spring break, holidays, teacher professionals, so on and so forth. It's much easier to lay them all out and then delete them um, afterwards. So then once I'm happy with my repeat schedule, I can decide when it will end. And the logical stopping point is the end of the year. So I'll say, for example, this is going to be June 9th. I click Done. And now I want to go ahead and look at that appointment slot calendar. So here we are under Laptop Cart X. This is now the website address of this resource. Uh, with the availability slots embedded into them. So if I click on this, let me first save this. Okay, now let's go back to this appointment slot. So what we're seeing here, what you're seeing in brown, this is my own personal calendar. And this will always display on the appointment slot website calendar. Um, this is to help you in many ways so you don't overbook yourself. So I've created these appointment slots. Here's an example. There's period one. So notice period one all the way 
through June 9th has been established. Now I would go ahead and do this for periods 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, but I'm not going to do it in this tutorial. So from a teacher's point of view, when they land on a page like this, the only work they have to do is to know what period they want to use that resource, and they have to be able to click on that time slot. And then, of course, they can go ahead and say how many computers they're using. And then they can click Save. And notice it's not only removed it from the clickable availability, but it's actually added it on my own personal calendar. And if I were to open up my email right now, we would see that I have an email from this appointment slot calendar saying that I have a booking May 3rd during period 1. Now, in order to avoid mass chaos, there's something else you need to do to that calendar, um, which you can't do from the get-go. You need to go into the settings. So I'm going to go back to my calendar go into settings and I want to go to my laptop cart X now notice here under the time zone which again is very important um, to be in the right time zone otherwise you might be booking appointments at at all hours of the night so under the time zone you have the auto accept invitations so I've elected to set this up to auto accept invitations that do not conflict. Now what this means is that I can be hands free. I no longer have to manage this in that no two teachers can book the same resource at the same time. Um, we have had a few cases where there appears to have been a couple of double bookings but it's rare. It's very rare that that happens. Um, so once you've selected that auto accept invitations that do not conflict, you can save that modification. And now um, availability will disappear as those slots are booked. So that's this is just one way um, you can save yourself time booking spaces and empowering teachers to really kind of manage and, and take some responsibility for uh, the school's resources and computers and so on and so forth. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful, um, but the best thing you can do is just create that link to that appointment calendar and put it in a very prominent pace, place that uh, teachers can find. And um, I think you'll have yourself lots of happy staff and teachers knowing that they can get confirmation on um, spaces that they would like to use immediately. So that's it. That's appointment slots. Thanks for watching.